welcome to another edition of FastCast. On this episode, we'll be looking at some of the requirements when creating your DOT, SBIR, or STTR proposal, and some key pieces of information you will need to be aware of. Today, we will talk about the Department of Transportation's proposal creation process via their CIBR portal through the DOT VOLP Center. When creating your DOT CIBR proposal, you will notice that you are required to submit three separate PDF files, a 25-page maximum technical section, a cost section referenced in Appendix C within the DOT CIBR solicitation, and a combined file containing Appendices A and B found in the DOT CIBR solicitation. Do note, while the technical section has a 25-page maximum limit, the other two sections do not count towards the 25-page limit. The technical section of your proposal will comprise a large majority of your effort and document creation for the proposal package. Under the technical section, there are 12 required subsections that you must complete, including items such as a phase one work plan in which you must describe the actual action items to be accomplished during your phase one effort, key personnel and bibliography of directly related work in which you must identify all key personnel attached to the project and their bibliography of related effort, and potential post application in which you must provide possible commercial application for the innovation. You must also ensure that the subsections bear the correct headings and bold. Failure to supply the correct headings or to provide information in a subsection, even if that subsection only states not applicable, might result in your proposal being returned without review. For the cost section, make sure to utilize the cost pricing workbook that is found on the VOLP site, available via an embedded hyperlink in Appendix C of the DOT SBIR solicitation. This ensures that you are completing those required sections to generate your budget and that all calculations are correct. The cost pricing worksheet also includes instructions and explanations on what items are allowed in costing, how to arrive at your calculations, and what justification must be included in the narrative of the worksheet. This will reduce any possible errors in calculations and ensure that all pricing thresholds are kept to. The combined Appendix A and B will be fairly easy to complete. Appendix A is a signature page that only requires certain business identifying information and a signature from an authorized company representative. Appendix B is similar to cover pages found in other solicitations. It requires an abstract of 200 words or less that should describe the problem or opportunity, project objectives, and description of the effort. Please ensure that the abstract does not contain any confidential or proprietary information. Your Appendix B also includes a section for a brief statement on the anticipated results and commercial applications of your innovation and a listing of key words to help identify the benefits of your project. More guidance on creating your proposal package, including where to find the required forms, how to access proposal examples, and compliance matrices to determine your meeting all requirements can be provided by NMFAST staff. <laughs>